good morning to you all. I am delighted, as Kurt mentioned, to be back here in Belvedere um, only a few months after my last visit and to have the opportunity to meet and to, and to talk with you personally. I'm particularly pleased that today's event coincides with another important milestone for our company. Exactly one year ago today, we repaid every penny of our United States and Canadian government loans. Six years. Six years early and with interest. And so the repayment proved that, proved that we could achieve a lot and that what could be achieved by hard work and determination by not giving in when the going gets tough, but rather finding the strength to get back on our own two feet and move forward. And that day marked an extraordinary achievement and a new beginning because once again, we were free to chart our own future. And it's an important part of that future that is here today. And it is connected to the car that you're building, the all new Dodge Dart. My visit today is meant to celebrate the start of production for this product that is so vital, is so crucial to our success going forward. But more importantly, it's important to me to recognize all of you for your efforts and for your commitment that has guided us to this remarkable point. It was a real pleasure to start out by spending some time in the plant this morning by talking to some of you and feeling the passion and the hope that you have for building this vehicle, a vehicle that, as I mentioned earlier, is crucial to our future. Thousands of people at Chrysler and at Fiat, along with our suppliers, have worked on the design, on the engineering, and on the production of the components that go into making the Dart. And thousands more in our organization and our dealerships are ready to take on this car and make it a success in the marketplace. But it is here, in the assembly plant, on the shop floor, where this magic all happens. And we're all counting on you to deliver the kind of outstanding quality that Belvedere is known for. You're well on the path to proving that this faith is justified. And in that process, you're demonstrating to the world that American workers can indeed make great cars. The first, the first 2013 Dodge Dart rolled off the line earlier this month. And from all reports that I've received, it has been an outstanding production start. So I know you've had some quality issues that have crept up last night, but I've had the reassurance of the whole leadership team that it will be under control in short order. And in fact, the body build is the best that our executive team has ever, ever seen. And by the way, this is a tremendous accomplishment that goes a long way towards vindicating Chrysler's $700 million investment to transform Belvedere into a state-of-the-art facility. And I want to thank you for having embraced the philosophy and the mission that are at the very core of our new company. Putting what made this nation great into what they do every day, pride and integrity in what you produce, the culture of doing things and doing them well. And I'm here to convey congratulations to each and every one of you for a job well done. The Dodge Dart is a huge step forward for Chrysler in terms of balancing our portfolio and becoming much more competitive in the heart of the North American car market. As you know, this is also a symbolic car because it is the first one that uses a Fiat-developed architecture on a Chrysler model. As an industry publication recently stated, the Dart is the first child of the marriage between Fiat and Chrysler and contains the DNA of both parents. It takes advantage of Fiat's expertise in small cars and fuel economy, is true to the Dodge heritage of being fun to drive, and is loaded with innovative technology. And judging from what we've seen so far, this first child is a start of a big family that is going to grow, that will explore new experiences, 
that will become more capable and more aware of its possibilities as, as its horizon grows wider and brighter. And so the DART is really a bellwether how well Fiat and Chrysler can make this partnership work. It will say a lot about how much each group can benefit from working together in a way that produces something even better than what each one standing alone could accomplish. And we believe that it's going to set a new benchmark in the compact car segment. Now, judging from the initial reaction of the automotive press, we are not alone in this assessment. Auto Week named it the most significant vehicle at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit. Motor Trend wrote, yes, it hits the bullseye. And USA Today called it a delightful surprise, adding that it is significant in so many ways, including that it happens to be a very, very good compact. And the review ended by saying that among open-minded shoppers, it will be hard to justify a Corolla or a Civic or a Lantra after driving a Dart. And that is just a small sample of the incredibly positive reviews that the Dart has received. Customers, ultimately, will be the final judges of whether the Dart will be a success. The first vehicles begin leaving this plant next week and will soon be arriving at dealerships, so it won't be long before they begin rendering their opinions. I'm confident of a great market reception for the Dart, and a big part of my confidence comes from knowing the quality of the people who work here at Belvedere. I want to tell you a story that describes the character of the people here at Belvedere. One of the newest employees is DeAndre Ellis, a 21-year-old from Detroit <coughs> who began <coughs> working in the paint shop less than two weeks ago. I just met DeAndre. He wanted this job so much that he took, on, he took an overnight bus from Detroit to fill out this paperwork transferring in Chicago to go to Rockford. And then he walked from Rockford to the plant with his backpack, 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 and a pillow. He repeated the journey a few weeks later for orientation again with a backpack and a pillow and 70 bucks in his pocket, which accounted for most of his worldly possessions. Growing up in Detroit, DeAndre has always dreamed of one day working for a car company. And he began work a few days later. This is a great story as far as it goes, but what happened next is what makes this truly inspirational. You see, DeAndre couldn't have made it without the help of a caring community right here at the plant. Workers here have helped him to find temporary housing, They've given him free rides. They provided him with the essentials, like an alarm clock, along with pots and pans for cooking. Several people, several people chipped in to buy him a bike so he doesn't have to walk the three miles from the housing that he currently lives in to get here for the start of his 6 a.m. shift. And some people have, some folks here have promised to take him out next week to help him find a more permanent place to live. I'm told the Andrew is doing a great job and his fellow workers really appreciate his infectious smile. This is truly an example of how the people of Belvedere Assembly make this a very special place. When I visited, when I visited with you in February, we took a moment to reflect on how far this plant has come from the dark days of 2009 when there were fewer than 200 people working here on a single shift. And at that time, we set out on a journey to restore credibility to Chrysler. We have launched outstanding new products. We grew our sales. We grew our market share. We paid back our taxpayer loans and posted positive financial results. This turnaround began with a profound cultural transformation 
in order to build a new Chrysler on a bedrock of shared principles, recognized and embraced at all levels. A philosophy where merit prevails over whom you know, leadership over authority, the pursuit of excellence over mediocrity, the spirit of competition over egocentricity, and reliability above making idle promises. And these values form the core of who we are today. Today, there are nearly 3,400 people working here at Belvedere, with about 100 people a week coming in for orientation and training. By the time, by the time all the hiring is complete, we will add a, a third shift in the third quarter of this year, and there will be more than 4,500 people working in this plant. This is tangible. This is tangible evidence of how far our values have carried us. To all of you here, to everyone at the plant, I want to know, I want you to know how grateful I am for the dedication that you bring to your jobs every single day. You are the ones that, who are ultimately responsible for writing our incredible comeback story. I'm proud to be associates, associated with you, and I ask you to continue to make a full faith effort to live the principles of integrity, of humility and respect that binds us all together. Thank you very much.